hello lovely people and welcome back to my channel in today's video we are attempting to swap around the furniture in all three of our kids bedrooms in order to maximize the space of the room in which three of my children are sharing we decided to buy triple bunk beds my eldest daughter decided that she hated her cabin bed she said that the space underneath wasn't big enough and she kept bumping her head so we decided to just give her what she wanted and remove the cabin bed and put the mid riser that my youngest was sleeping in into my eldest room. We decided that my son could take the bunk beds as he also asked for them as well. On Friday night, we dismantled the cabin bed and took down my son's bed as well. So that on Saturday morning, we could just get going on getting the mid riser into my daughter's room and the bunk beds into my son's room. We've been in this house for less than six months and I couldn't believe the amount of dust and dirt on the skirting boards and behind the back of the radiators. So I was only too happy to get all the beds moved out of the way so I could give it all a good deep clean and a refresh. While my son was dismantling the mid visor in the girls room, I went into my son's room and I just tidied away everything and sorted out his bookcase. Any opportunity to do a bit of deep cleaning, I'm there for it just little and often, small tasks as and when I can. And if you know me, I can't walk away from a messy bookcase. In our household, my husband does all the DIY. I suppose that I probably could do it if I thought about it, but he's the calm, patient one, so that's on him. And I'm very happy to just support him and do some cleaning along the way as well. We've got the mid-riser into my daughter's bedroom, so I'm just giving it a quick clean up. This mid-riser is from Ikea. We absolutely love it because it has the four drawers underneath the bed and a little bookcase. And you can also store some extra bits and bobs down the back underneath the bed as well. As you can see, the girls' room is now nice and empty and there'll be plenty of space in their room. I know that triple bunk beds do mean that the person on the top doesn't have too much space, but I think it'll be worth it in the long run just that the kids have more ground space because in the UK the rooms are just really really small. I don't know if you saw that but I pulled out two socks from behind the radiator. I don't know about you but I find dirty laundry absolutely everywhere in my home. I wanted to pull out the carpet cleaner to get this part of the carpet really deep cleaned but the carpet wouldn't have been dry in time so I just had to walk away from it. Um, I'm only doing what I can do today. As you can see, you can store loads of stuff down the back of this mid riser, which is why it works so well in small spaces. I think her room is looking really good now. I did manage to get everything put away. This is my son's room finished. And then finally, we're working on putting up the triple bunk bed. We just work together. I help where I can. If you have a large family, how do you make spaces work for you? It's taken us a long time to finally just go for this triple bunk bed. I can already see that changing the sheets might be a bit of an issue, but in the long run, I think it will just open up the room and give us a lot more living space, which I think is necessary when you have a large family. Thankfully, all three of the kids absolutely love the new bunk beds. So all I need to do now is just work on this room, making it a little bit more personal and not like a shoebox, but so far, so good. Drop me a comment, let me know what you think, and I will see you next time. Bye.